guys, what's up? Today we are talking about Zoe 101. If there's one thing that we all know about Zoe 101 is it does bring the tea, both on screen and unfortunately off screen as well. And I definitely think the final season had the most switch ups for the show. We had Chase leave, we introduced a new character, James, and we had a lot of shipping going on that season. Which is weird because I never really would have saw this coming and that is the shipping of Quinn Penske and Logan Reese. Now I always would have thought if they were going to throw us for a loop and then make two characters date in the series, I would have thought it would have been Logan and Zoe. While Zoe never showed any signs of liking Logan throughout the series, well Logan didn't really like her to the extent of say how Chase did, but I mean he thought she was cute and then maybe like Zoe's annoyance of Logan from time to time could be like a good thing, like maybe how Sam and Freddy got together because they basically annoyed the crap out of each other so much that they just started liking each other. But yeah, in season 4, Quinn and Logan date. And while yes, much like the SETI thing, it is another relationship that is just kind of forced upon us. We get no prior examples of feelings from either party. It's not like something like, well, Logan says something complimentary about Quinn, and then like everybody looks at him and he's like, oops, I, I mean, you suck, or something like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not like that, you know, where you could be like, oh, maybe he likes her in a way. No, this just was completely random. Overall, definitely provided a lot of interesting stories going through the last season of the show. While I miss Chase a lot, I still think we had still had plenty of drama and action in the final series of the show. See, what happens is Quinn's current boyfriend, Mark, dumped her. And then after Quinn tries so hard to win him back, you know, changing how she looks and everything, she just sits on the bench and then cries in misery. And then Logan happens to stumble upon her and... You know, of course, obviously, he's a little bit of his usual kind of, you know, jerky, aggressive self. But, you know what? He actually kind of sympathizes with her towards the end of the discussion. You know what I'm saying? And that was probably just like, oh, what? You know what? You're actually kind of a sweet guy, you know? Yeah, you're not that bad. And then you know what it is? They start doing some DNA swapping. Yes, they start, mm, mm, you know? <laughs> yeah, all right. So... Then they, yeah, fall in love, but, you know, obviously, obviously they want to keep it a secret because, you know what I'm saying, they're friends, they're afraid their friends would just ridicule the heck out of them, you know, so, yeah, they keep it a secret, and that pretty much goes along throughout the entire series. They have scenes where they, like, have to make out in janitor's closets and slow dance and stuff, and then Quinn and Logan want to go to a nice restaurant together, but then, of course, the punchline is that Zoe and the rest of her friends are at the same restaurant with her, so that's a bunch of chaos, too. It is really entertaining how they did try to, like, cover up their relationship in a way. They were just like, ah, oh, no, I can't stand Logan, whatever they were asking about him and everything like that. And <laughs> I just thought it was kind of interesting how it was the dichotomy of a really smart girl and someone who was previously stereotypically jerky because he was rich. And while throughout the last season he is a little bit like that, I think by this point in the show he had changed a little bit or he at least kind of knocked back his stereotypical jerkiness. Like he still can be a little rude but it's like I, I think really he's gotten used to the characters and by this point in the show they're just a lot better friends and I feel like he's not as much of a jerk in that season which kind of makes episodes like Anger Management, <laughs> y'all remember that one, a little more frustrating to watch. But yeah, the final episode has a really sweet ending where they're at like, I guess a prom or, yeah, they're at prom or something. They're like dancing and stuff, and I mean, obviously Chase comes back, that's important. And I mean, Chase and Zoe get together, yeah, like that's awesome. Like, I'm glad they didn't just leave us on a cliffhanger, just like, ooh, maybe someday we'll be together. No, I'm glad they actually did you know what I mean, close that, and we did get some nice fan service with them getting together, but in addition, we get this cool scene where, obviously, since Logan and Quinn are at prom with people they don't want to be at, see, Logan gets really frustrated, and then he's just, he just snaps, he's just like, yo, in front of everybody, he yells it out loud in front of everybody that he loves Quinn, and it's like, that's, like, a really sweet moment in the show, like, I really can't underestimate how, like, rewarding it is to watch this guy who, up to this point, has cared so much about, like, you know, being cool and being loved by all the girls and stuff and everything like that. And, you know, just his rich, you know, appearance and everything like that. He's just like, he doesn't care, man. He didn't care what anybody thinks during that moment. He's just like, I love Quinn. And I'm like, that, that along with Chase and them getting together and then like the final just dance party scene. What a great way for the show to close. Seriously, like that. 
I, I couldn't have been more happy during those final scenes of that episode, yeah. I mean, the rest of the episode was pretty good, but, like, those final scenes were just fantastic, and Quinn was very happy about that. They didn't have to hide the relationship anymore, and people were cool with it. It's not like people made fun of him or anything. No, no, they're just like, yo, that, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. they're like, yeah, you know? They were supportive, you know what I'm saying? You know, kings supporting kings, yeah. <laughs> and you know what, at the end of the day, it put a smile on my face. And what's also good about Logan and Quinn being together is, like, the Logan and Quinn stuff always felt like a supplement to the rest of the Zoe 101 plots. It never felt like the show was just based around them being together. It's like, no, there were side plots and stuff with them being together, and there were some stories that did kind of focus a bit more on that. But no, most of the time they still had, like, main plots and other stuff to focus on. It wasn't as big a deal and it wasn't as toxic or frustrating. The only thing was, is just they had to keep it a secret, so it's cool. But yeah, that was my discussion of Quogan, the relationship between Quinn and Logan. <laughs> yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment down below, what did you think of season four of Zoe 101, and what did you guys think about the pairing of Quinn and Logan? Yeah, like, I thought that was just a really interesting thing to end the series on, and yeah, I just wanted to talk about that with y'all. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, it really means a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.